My name is Richard Miller from Vintage Motor Cars in Westbrook, Connecticut. And today we're going to give you a tour of our facility so you can visually see what we do and some of the challenges that we are met with every day. This is our upstairs. This is where we primarily do our clean work, our final assembly, and our service area. It's very important to have a dust-free environment in order to put these cars together. And I'll show you some of the cars that we have here. This is a 52 Caddy uh, convertible. This is a frame off. And we do some, for some of our clients, we do some exotic modern. Uh, this is a 2004 Maserati that we're working on. Um, this is a 53 Allard and we're getting this running and then decide uh, what they want to do with it if it's gonna, we're going to do a frame off or just leave it so they can run it as is. And this Allard actually won, uh, came in I think second place at Watkins Glen. We don't specialize in any particular, we don't just do hot rods or just antiques just as long as it's a vintage, vintage car. This is a 52 Ford that we just uh, have for sale. 36 Maxim fire truck. Some kids had vandalized it. They set it on fire, ironically. And we're going to redo the whole, the whole back at this point. Another Maserati. This is a 65 Mistrell. This is a 48 Town & Country that I have for sale. And what we're doing with this one is we're just getting it so that the average person can take over the restoration. Because these cars are they're very expensive, restored anywhere from 150 to maybe 200,000. Uh, what I'm doing with this car is I'm doing all the big stuff so that if a home guy wants to do it, he could take it and restore it himself. We have the interior done, we did metal replacement, and put the engine in and get it running. The engine was all rebuilt, so that's what we're doing with this particular car. Over here we have a 35 Packard. It's just really great to see him come in here. And he's a retired English professor. We just maintain it for him to keep it drivable so he can enjoy it and uh, drive it all the time, so it's, it's, it's really neat. And it's a Packard, which uh, Packards were some of the best cars made. Here we have a 57 Cadillac Baritz, which was top of the line in 57. Great car, and uh, we have our own interior um, area, and Amanda did a fabulous job on the interior, just really, the red and white just pops. This is our upholstery area where our Mr. Armando does all of our upholstery for all of the cars that come in here, which includes we do seats, headliners, convertible tops, a lot of custom stuff. Actually, we also even do boats and stuff for the local community here because we're on the shoreline. We also are an authorized LeBaron body installer, so we install LeBaron body kits also. Okay, now we're done with our upstairs. Let's take you downstairs to our dirty work and show you all the interesting projects we have going on there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the booth here. These are, uh, they're fantastic they have. Unfortunately, they're incredibly expensive today. They probably are around $70,000 today, but they're a must have in order to have the quality of work that people demand today. This thing uses enough gas to heat a small country. You turn it on and it'll, it'll sucks out when you're spraying, it sucks out all your overspray from underneath, runs it through filters, heats that air, and comes back into the top. It's, it's like a hospital room for it being clean and very well lit. Um, a lot of places don't have them because they're so darn expensive, but um, they save a whole lot of time and give just the quality of work. Because the other problem you'll have when you're painting, if you don't get rid of that air, that air gets laden with solvent. And if you don't get rid of that air, it's like a, it's like a sponge where the air it can dry out. And you have to take all that solvent out of the air so the solvent can come out of your paint. And if it doesn't, you get problems called solvent pop if you don't have a good system. Now here we have another lift. And this is where we might take body panels apart, uh, evaluate cars. This is where our frame offs would be. Our, fabricating our floors, putting quarters on, uh, removing engines, uh, the initial phases of a restoration. Here we have a 68 Camaro, 
57 Chevy. Uh, very unique 41 Olds that you really won't see too much of. Uh, it's the first one we've ever seen. Uh, this is for a client uh, in France and it's going to be a frame off restoration. We've already taken it apart, found it to be a mess, which is typical, and we're making the four pans and the rockers of it now. Right, another area over here, this is where we start to make the panels. You see Mike cutting out, he's putting a uh, quarter panel on a 60. Mike, what year is that? 66 GTO. Some of these more involved restorations, you just can't call up and get a new floor pan or get a sheet metal part or a fender. So you have to be able to make just about everything that's needed on these old cars. In this particular instance, we're making rocker panels for the 41 Olds that you saw earlier. One of the unique things is that we have some of the machinery here that will actually bend the metal into a curve because rocker panels, except from the earlier cars, very often have a curve to them. So we're going to show you here how this uh, Pullmax works, which is a terrific machine and is vital for any restoration shop or any metal fabrication that has to be done in the restoration business. But down here we make our panels, weld them in. Uh, we have another spray booth where we'll do a lot of our priming. We have our woodworking area because a lot of the earlier cars structurally were made out of wood. And then we have our engine room uh, over there where we do our engine uh, rebuilding. We are in the engine room. This is our exclusive isolated area just to do engines. And we do uh, most of our engines that are needed for our accounts and we do um, all the reassembly. We don't do any heavy, you know, if it has to be bored or crank ground, we do send that out. But the majority of work we do here. That's pretty much our tour of vintage motor cars. We are located at 2000 Boston Post Road, Westbrook, Connecticut. Our webpage is vintagemotorcarsllc.com. And if you want to come by and visit and see what we do and check out some of our cars, please come by. If you're looking for service, restoration, or even to buy and sell a car, come by and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30. And our phone is 860-399-2311.